Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at the autofill button, um, but from a different perspective, we're going to look at how you can customize uh, the list that you want to autofill. So I have here a few lists of some things that maybe you you regularly create this list and you have to manually type it every time or you save this list somewhere and you cut and paste it in and um, instead of doing that you can create an autofill list in uh, Excel to allow you to do that now again the autofill button uh, is in the lower right hand corner of any cell that's a little box there that you can use to drag down and there are certain default uh, lists in Excel that are automatically uh, populated. One of them is, for example, January, February, March, etc. You take that, you drag it down, and you get that sequence of months done automatically. But if you want to create one so you don't have to keep retyping it, or it's different than one that Excel already has provided, here's how you would do that. Uh, you could do it one of two ways. You can either pre-type your list that you can import it, or you can manually do it on the fly into the area of Excel. And where you do that is you go to the File menu and you go down to Options. Under Options there's an Advanced selection and way down at the bottom under the General heading you'll see Edit Custom Lists. Select that and now your custom list will come up. Here are the ones again that Excel always provides, Sunday, Monday, two, Sunday, Monday Tuesday, etc. Jan, Feb, March or January, February, March uh, as uh, the months would go. So all you would do is, for example, let's take the warehouse location. So we have uh, seven uh, cities that we have our warehouse locations in. Now we can do this again one of two ways. So you can select this button here and highlight your list of cells. Click it again and say import. Notice it has put it in the list of entries and has put it under the list there. I click OK, I click OK again, and now if I just start typing Detroit, I hit enter and I drag that down, notice how it automatically fills that in. And again, I can keep going with that. If I take uh, Houston and drag it down, again, it'll continue. I don't have to start with Detroit, I can start with Phoenix and start from there dragging it down and again it'll continue the pattern from anywhere within that list. Be careful though because maybe there are times where you don't want that list created and you just want to copy Phoenix down multiple times. So you have to be careful of how you're going to use lists. If you do want that to occur, um, you can always uh, hold down your control key while you drag that down and, whoops, and when you do that it will just populate the word that you had there instead of creating the, um, the continued uh, autofill list. Uh, the other way you can do it is by manually doing it on the fly. Instead of creating a list, pre-typing it and importing it, you can, do, uh, you can do it right in that area. So I'm going to again click Options, go to the Advanced section and go down to the bottom under the General heading, select that, and let's say we want to just do one, two, three, uh, let me capitalize that, three, four, and five. And uh, all we do is type it in in our list entries and click Add. Notice it puts it right in with the other list that we have there. Again, click OK, OK again. Now if I type in one and I drag that down, I'll get one, two, three, four, five. Or if I type in four, drag it down, it'll go five, then one, two, three, four, five, etc., 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 and just continue that list all the way down. And that's how you do uh, custom autofills. Hope it's worthwhile for you. Thanks for stopping by, and if you'd like to see more, please go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and feel free to subscribe. Happy Excelling!